Hello crafters, Teresa from Anjurisa here. Feeling crafty today? Let's make a super easy fabric bow together. It's the perfect beginner project and honestly, it's way cuter than anything you would find in stores. Now, I do have exclusive bow patterns available in my Etsy for those who want something a little more fancy, like my no fail sailor bow pattern. But for now, this basic design is perfect for some fun crafting. Let's get started. Here's what you will need. Two pieces of fabric. One for the bow and another for the bow center. An accessory of your choice. You will also want to have a fabric marker, ruler, and glue gun handy for assembly. To get started on the bow, fold your fabric in half and grab your fabric marker and ruler. Make a mark one and a half inch from the edge. Then draw a diagonal line to the opposite corner. Repeat this step on the other side. If you enjoy this tutorial, subscribe for more DIY projects and turn on notifications. If you have any questions or if there's a bow design you can't find, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to respond, even if using shots. Next, fold the fabric entirely in half to find the center point. This will show where you will leave an opening to turn the fabric inside out later. So along the line, leaving a gap in the center. Once you're done, trim away any excess fabric around the edges. For a clean finish, snip off the pointed corners at the diagonals. Next, carefully turn the fabric through the opening in the center. You might need a pointed tool like a chopstick or a brush to gently push out any corners. Here's the secret weapon of every sewing project, pressing. Give your fabric a good press with an iron set to the appropriate heat setting for your fabric type. This will flatten the seams and make your bow look polished and professional. Now that the fabric is pressed nice and flat, let's move on to the next step, shaping the bow. With the iron fabric in hand, take a moment to fold it in half to create a visible crease as a guide for the center. Fold the fabric according to your desired shape. Flip the fabric and fold it similarly to the previous step. To secure the bow, grab your needle and thread. Carefully sew a few small stitches through the center of the bow, gathering the folds and securing them in place. These hidden stitches will keep your bow looking neat and polished. If you want to skip the needle and thread, Simply pinch the center of the bow, then use sewing thread to tie it tightly. Now that our bow is looking beautiful, let's turn it into a hair accessory. For a quick and easy method, use a glue gun to attach a hair clip to the back of the bow. Apply a small dab of hot glue to the center of the bow. Press the accessory firmly onto it and hold it in place until secure. For those who prefer extra durability, you can hand stitch the hair clip onto the bow. This method takes a bit more time but guarantees your bow stays securely in place all day long. Remember that second piece of fabric? Grab it now. Fold it inwards towards the center, then fold it in half once more. Give it a good press with the iron to create a crisp centerpiece. These little details adds a polished touch to our bow. Now take the centerpiece and position it on the bow right in the center. Sew this to securely attach it to the bow. Trim away any excess fabric for a clean finish. 
flip it over, and that's it! A beautiful handmade bow is ready to go! Thanks for crafting with me today! See you in my next video! Bye!